Hello and welcome. This experiment will cover the effect of pressure on the boiling point of water. We are going to apply low pressure vacuum on the water in here and we are going to measure the boiling point at different pressures. At the beginning we need to switch on the heaters in here and we always monitor the temperature using this thermometer. We are going to start with high vacuum and then we'll reduce that recording the boiling uh, point of water at each time. Boiling point means whenever the water starts to boil. So we'll start to use this hand operated vacuum pump to produce vacuum. A gauge is provided and this pump is designed to hold vacuum at this specific pressure. Now due to the fittings in here, we might lose some of the vacuum so we'll need to add a little bit every now and then till the water starts to boil. When the water starts to boil we will need always to add some vacuum to keep it at the same point. We will start with let's say minus 0.7 bars and then wait for the water to boil reduce the pressure, wait the water to boil again and so on. So I'll show you example now. We'll start pumping. 0.7 is about here. So we'll need to keep adding vacuum till we reach that point. 0.6 now. And about to reach 0.7. So here we go, now we reach the pressure, we can keep the pump on the table, we always monitor the pressure, if we need to adjust a little bit, we can do it slowly. Always be careful as the pipe connecting the pump and the flask in there is short, so you don't want to pull it away and that might affect your setup. The temperature is rising now, we reach about 68 degrees so we adjust the vacuum and wait till the water boils so at this moment we already set the pressure we are waiting for the water to boil which is going to start soon at this temperature and we are going to see some bubbles rising there. As we apply more vacuum, boiling will start. More vacuum, more boiling is happening. Right now, the temperature is about 75 and the pressure is at minus 0.6 bars. So this could be a boiling point for a certain stage. Then we are going to release a little bit the vacuum by pressing here. And you can see, I'll repeat that again. Now the water is boiling, as we release the pressure, water will stop boiling. So water stopped boiling now, we reduce the pressure to minus 0.5 bars in here and we'll wait again for the temperature. Right now we have 75 degrees, we'll wait for a moment till the water boils again and record that boiling point. So at the end, your result sheet will have a column of pressure, negative pressure, of vacuum. Then the other column is the boiling point. So we'll start from, let's say, minus 0.7, and we'll go and uh, fix in increments down to zero. Now this covers the first part of the experiment. The second part of the experiment is repeating exactly the same procedure, but with uh, dissolved salt in the water. And that will give you results related to how the dissolved salt is going to elevate the boiling point of water. So now I, we reach that boiling point. So this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 uh, bar and the uh, water starts to boil. We'll need to record the temperature. As we increase the vacuum, you can see more boiling is there and sometimes uh, water 
vapor will start to come here always we try to get the water back to the flat and avoid it going to the pump if we record this again we'll reduce the pressure by pressing here and you can see with zero pressure now the water again is not boiling we'll need to wait and so on the experiment deals with the glassware and hot water so you should be careful from both of them and always if you don't need the heating mantle you switch it off and you make sure that you switch it off also before you leave the lab thank you for watching